Thank you. Virtual reality is about to enter the operating room. Breakthrough technology is being introduced today at a gathering of neurosurgeons in Washington, D.C. Only on CBS This Morning, Kara Finstrom gets a sneak preview from the inventors in Southern California. Virtual reality headsets are already revolutionizing the way people experience video games. Put on a pair of goggles and you can travel anywhere from outer space to the battlefield. But gamers aren't the only ones. This technology can transport to new worlds. It's just amazing to see every little opening in the skull where a nerve goes through it. At the University of California, Los Angeles, neurosurgeons are slipping on virtual reality headsets to go inside their patients' brains. I'm virtually inside the skull of the patient, walking around, floating around. Dr. Neil Martin is the chairman of UCLA's Department of Neurosurgery. I think this is going to have a tremendous impact. He's developing this virtual technology with Modi Avasar, a former officer in the Israeli Air Force who designed flight simulators for F-16 fighter jets. How did you get from flight simulation to virtual brain surgery? We allow the pilot to fly through the scene of, of tomorrow's mission, and that's exactly what we're allowing a brain surgeon. Avasar started out creating 3D models of the brain for computer screens by combining elements of flight simulation software with traditional brain scans. Now Avasar has taken that technology to the next level with this virtual reality headset. Put it on. Yeah, it looks like you can almost reach out and, yes. and touch them. And you fly around inside the brain, moving past brain tissue, nerves, and blood vessels by simply moving your head. Now you can turn your whole body. Okay. It's like being there inside the vessels, inside the brain. Oh, wow. Brain surgeons often operate on tumors and aneurysms dangerously close to areas that control language and movement. They do it through a microscope and an incision the size of a dime. This technology would allow them to practice before the surgery, and during it, they can put the headset back on to reorient themselves. Here's an example. Right here on the image, I can see the carotid artery going through the margin of the tumor. Rather than have that all of a sudden appear as I'm removing tumor, I'll know exactly when I'm going to encounter it. That is a, a big improvement. An improvement that he believes will ultimately benefit patients by making surgery shorter and more successful. Go ahead and put that on. Lucas Dynas is looking at a tumor recently removed from his own brain. So it's like the convergence of gaming and uh, life saving. That's it. Dr. Martin has used the scans of former patients to practice using the virtual technology. We're still waiting for flying cars, but now we have flying surgeons. <laughs> and within weeks, he plans to be the first neurosurgeon using these virtual views to save real lives. For CBS This Morning, Cara Finstrom, Los Angeles. I just love this. You know, yeah, you know, I, This is what makes me exciting about our show. We're yeah. constantly looking where the future is. Yeah, mm -hmm. agreed. I mean, can you imagine the possibilities that that opens up for surgeons Absolutely. to be able to have like that 3D look at the brain before operating? Absolutely. It's terrific. I mean, it makes you realize how tough it is without that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed. I mean, we hope we never have to use it, but nice to know it is there.